right, so what we're looking at right here is one of our 427 twin turbo LS motors outfitted in a factory five GTM. It all fits in that little package there. So intakes reversed 180. We've got our mirror image turbos piped into twin water to air intercoolers. Kind of a neat setup, something a little different than normal. You know, all these pipes and shit are in the way. Get a view of the uh, mirror image turbos. Boom. Ooh. Piping right up into that intercooler. So there's the counter rotator. And if you look, we've got our nice billet collector into a V-band into our billet turbo transition, which goes into the turbocharger and get has you know goes to the wastegate. These motors use the all-pro head where we get the extra head bolt. Right there, extra one there and one on the inside per cylinder, so it has the extra clamping force for the turbocharged engine. Custom intake manifold. One of our built throttle bodies and built turbo transition pieces on the intake side. Got the fuel rig all integrated into the intake manifold. They're all boost reference. So another cool motor for mid-engine packaging. It's kind of a neat view of this sucker right here is just headers and coolers and turbos and shit everywhere really. So we've got 727 foot-pounds of torque, 851.1 horsepower at 6,500 and climbing, and it's only at 8.3 pounds of boost. At an extremely safe air-fuel ratio, 8.3 pounds, 851 horsepower. Oh yeah. Modified the factory dry sump. It's kind of neat, welded in turbo drain back, welded in ANs in and out. You know, modified it to go to a larger style dry sump tank. And then what we did too, that was kind of neat, is we moved the 58 minus 2 trigger in the crank. Uh, the right relationship for what we wanted the electromotive to control. So if you look inside of here, we're using the factory crank position and crank sensor, which is kind of neat, but are able to control it with our own tech three management system. If you look at this intercooler, we mounted the blow offs into the intercooler themselves kind of a different way of doing it, but works pretty good. So we've got an intercooler on both banks. It's kind of a neat shot that you got header, turbo, wastegate, and intercooler all in one tight little package. Come down to the bottom of this little baby and you see the gate 
the billet collector and the turbo transition, along with our billet uh, drain backs. Look at that shit! 1,013 foot-pounds, 1,140 horse, and climbing fast at only 16 pounds of boost. A lot, lot more left in this one. They just seem to be getting nuttier and nuttier. Every time we put one on, it's just kind of a crack up of just how much 10 pounds of shit in a one-pound bag. Thank you.